Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey Aim here with the next part of the random battle row to top 10. This is a recorded one, yeah. So, um, I decided to do things a little bit differently, or I think going forward I'm going to do things a little bit differently just based on uh, some feedback and whatnot. So, I'll still be having some Twitch streams where I play uh, part of my random battle row top 10, but I think they'll just be exclusive streams, Twitch exclusive streams, where um, they won't get uploaded to the channel, but I'll use them if I tilt or I feel like I'm tilting way too much in between episodes for example uh not the last two episodes but before that i had three episodes in a row where i went down and kept going right back up to 1850 by the end of the episode and i don't want this episode to be long either as i'm gonna be streaming with moe uh a cage lock which would be a lot of fun so this will be a nice 30 minute episode and then um again if ideally i win most of my games but if we don't we don't uh and I'll use an occasional stream or two to catch up. Who is this ace trainer, cool trainer thing? That boy let off with the... I love when they lead off with the late game Lunala, man. I love when they lead off with the late game Lunala. I get to see it right away. Please tell me I have a, a dark type that's a counter. Nope. Nope. L loses to it. Potentially loses to it. I got Sucker Punch. And... And you. So, I would SD, but I think Stone Edge twice is better. Especially because he has Shadow Shield on the first one. And I want to break that Shadow Shield. Uh, this this thing's a problem. <laughs> this Lunala is a problem to my entire team. Komala can deal with it, but only if it's uh, o only if his Shadow Shield is broken. Ideally, my opponent just times out immediately. That that would be just a, a fire, a fire play by my opponent. I think honestly that's his most optimal play. Uh, by the way, everybody, I'm gonna link this tweet down below. But Mr. That's Twitch, Mr. Jamvad, Mr. Jamvad book is out. Mr. Jamvaj, straight up book is out, okay? Oof. Oof. So if anybody wants to check it out, I'll leave this tweet down below. Uh, that way you can see his book. But he goes for Calm Mind first, which is absolutely fine. Um, Stone Edge, again, Stone Edging twice after. That uh, gives me two opportunities to crit. But also, I'll be throwing off enough Stone Edges to the point where I could miss. I, I just, screw RNG and all that stuff. Just crit him. There you go. Thank you, man. And you know what? Just do it again. Just do it again. Just... just that boy, have Focus Blast, too. Just do it again. Turn him again or get... 57, 35, I want to say. I might be a roll right now just to knock him out plain. Uh, maybe 35 is a little bit generous. I think 32, actually. Hmm. Actually, 35 might not be generous. What is that, like 38? If I get the regular roll, yeah, because it does like... It, okay, so this this is a crit, right? A crit is 1.5 times the damage. That would be like 36, 37, 38. I think, I think 38 would be the amount right here that I needed. So the crit definitely mattered for sure. Uh, but I think if I got the same roll as this, I would do like 30, 37, 38, whatever. I, I don't feel like doing it off the top of my head. It's way too early in the morning. I'm dying. But... Fire. Fire. Go ahead and give me some damage on this dude too. Beautiful. I'll take some nice beautiful damage right now. Who magnet rises in the face of a Terrakion when close combat is an easy play for me too? Nice, 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 nice. I will gladly, gladly take this. I'm thinking about uh, switching, but he'll just get up a spike anyway. Uh, there's only a 33% chance to have spikes on a Klefki set. That is so sad. And he doesn't even... Wait, what? That boy didn't even try and talk. He thought I was a dark type because he missed. <laughs> okay, I see it. We take those. <laughs> Look at lead Terrakion just putting in some work. Lunala and Klefki gone. Both of those are problems, by the way, to my team. Especially this because I do have a Mega Altaria. So I will gladly take those two. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I know something's about to come out and break my confidence, but I'm feeling really, really good. I apologize, by the way. It's a little bit early for me. I didn't sleep that well. But I woke up and I stayed up. Because I want to be able to do a nice early stream. And you know, if I sleep too much, then it's going to be, you know, not, not that good for me. You can have vacuum wave. We're going to go out to my thick fat mom, which pretty much walls you outside of U-turn. Which, according to this set, you only have an 11% chance to have. Let me go ahead and psych this bad boy. So Fire Blast isn't going to do crap. Let me throw off a Toxic. You know what? Let me throw off a nice little Toxic as he goes on all the... And I land my Toxic too. What is today? What is today? That is fire 
Got off the bus, should be here really soon. Okay. Um. Rocks is a 53% chance. I'm gonna go Terrakion right here just in case he wants to get up rocks. As he goes for Toxic, that's absolutely fine. And uh, I don't have Trick Room on this set. So what I'll do is just go with Stack Attack and just Gyro Ball this bad boy. That's some big damage. Um, he obviously can only go for Knock Off, if anything. And Gyro Ball will easily do over half to Infernape. It's gonna do a massive amount. Um, I kinda wanna win this game super quickly if possible because I have someone that's on the way. Someone that is on the way. Awesome. Just ring when downstairs to pick something up. Okay, so Amado's gonna get drop. This boy does not care. He heard that and he's like, okay, I'm gonna wear down this timer. That's my win con now. <laughs> I didn't think they'd be here this early. That's fine. I'll still be able to record. I'll just pause it right after and then, you know, I keep going with the recording, which is no big deal. But uh, if, uh, if I had Trick Room, I would easily go for it right now. Cause this is gonna blow this is just gyro ball is about to blow this boy away it's actually about to blow this boy away so um omaldo will I'm, I'm assuming it doesn't if it doesn't go down to poison by the way they need to add oh because level 83 what they need to do is they need to add these calcs for random battles i saw that someone suggested i was actually going to go to the, the smoke on thread and suggest it can you guys just add the calcs for random battles so i don't have to put in the you know 80 84 evs for every single stat make it a little bit easier make it a little bit quicker on me um, at least like, you know, just have the levels and yeah, I, ideally that actually ends up working. So I'm going to pause it. Just give me one second. We'll be right back. Okay. So what ended up happening was, uh, I gyro bolt. I knocked him out as he rapid spun. That was his only attack to break my, <laughs> I didn't even do 1%. I gyro ball knocked him out. He went needle queen. I went grumping on that cause it's faster and has good speed. That's that. I psychic it. Got up a light screen just in case, you know, for, um, in front of and whatnot and psychic again. So we won basically I uh, and the dude eventually left he didn't even leave he just timed out so go ahead and look for another one because I don't want to obviously that doesn't count towards 30 minutes I'm gonna keep going um, I mean it does count towards 30 minutes but oh what a great lead this would be such a great lead if I was you know not a lead and I had a ground type oh uh, man this mod's gonna be a problem has a chance to be has a good chance to be focused ash too we'll go Rotom uh, Rotom can take any attack it wants to go for. If it ends up going for Surf, we finally meet Moet. Are you kidding me? This was definitely planned. You know for a fact I'm not Moet. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so a Surf is definitely coming out. This is not a trick room. I don't have... Mm. I'm just going to overheat. I, if I had trick, I would have... If I had Volta, excuse me, I would have went for it. But Overheat does 57, so we know the next one is not going to knock him out for sure. I do have an Assault Vest Meloetta. I hate to reveal my entire team, but I wanted to break its Sash with something as he goes Kecleon. Now, Kecleon could have Knock Off, which makes it a little bit... A lot annoying. Holy crap. I'm tempted to go for my Sleep Turn right now, because this is actually really bad. This Mon is really, 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 really annoying. I'm really tempted to go for Sleep. Um, but I wanted to Mega... Mega... I wanted to change my form so I could actually do some massive damage with close combat. Like this is, it doesn't matter what priority you have. What, I'm normal. Oh, I'm getting outplayed here though. Wait, no I'm not. <laughs> Wait, I am, no. I got completely outplayed. No, good thing that boy thinks I'm more. Um, Shadow Sneak 100% of the time, Drain Punch. Man, if this thing had Trick Room, it'd actually be a good Pokemon. It could have Knock Off, too. I hate letting Gardevoir take this hit, but... I don't see an alternative. I really don't see an alternative to making to letting it take... This Pokemon broken! What the hell? I'm drafting one of these. Anyway, so we'll knock it out with Hyper Voice. Um, I'm not in range of Raichu's attack, unless it actually is Z, but I'm pretty positive it's Focus Ash. I'm not in range of Raichu's attack. I know that for sure. Um, Ninetales comes out. Aurora Veil, Blizzard. I think Rotom is fine. At 31%, I should still be able to take a Blizzard as he goes for Aurora Veil. And I'm actually going to trick right here. Um, actually, I should Pain Split. Ah, that's fine, too. Yeah. Oh, that worked out way better than what I had hoped. So, that's amazing. Uh, I even get a pain split off on the Gly score coming in, and there's a good chance that this Gly score can't actually touch. 
If it's that toxic roost set, there's a good chance it can't actually touch Zatu. If it is actually that toxic roost set. So I have Heatwave right here, because I want to see what... If he has knockoff, it's fine. I want to see... Yeah. That's fine. You're just wasting your Aurora Veil. I will completely take those. So knockoff, roost... I mean, I'm also wasting this at the same time. So it's a, it's a little bit annoying. But my Psyche is going to do some big damage. But then not do as much as I wanted. So basically, I'm trying to go for Spadef drops. But the fact that Gliscor is at 100% really does hurt. 60%. I know what I'll do. I'm going to wait till he gets to... Uh, I'm going to wait till Poison Turn does 100%. And then I'm going to go out into my Mummy Mon and let him knock him out with Poison. 78. 84. 90. That's the most Poison we'll ever do. Crap, man. Yeah, he switched out after. That's that's fine. Um, that sucks, but that's fine at the same time. Uh, we'll go out into my run on the Blizzard. Perfect. And that should just be a free overheat KO on something. That will definitely go down. Nice. Uh, it sucks that, uh, I guess, 90 is the max you could do. I, I didn't realize that. I know you couldn't do 100%, but I thought we could do a little bit closer. Go ahead and give me another pain split. That way I can switch into that Rotom a few more times. Rotom goes out to 24. 24. I need to not get a Spadef drop on the turn that I hit him. That's fine. That does... He's probably just going to roost. To be honest. Roost, roost stole me a little bit more. That way you can get more HP. Damn. Okay, so the great thing is, again, in range of... I, I should have just went... I should have U-turned that one time. I wish I didn't get that Spadef drop. I should have heat waved. But he gives me Gliscor, which is incredible. Because that, that thing is just a pain, man. Such a huge pain. Uh, if he goes out into Nine Cells, he's just going to go for Roraville. That still gives me a free Rotom at 65. And actually, I'm just going to Will O Wisp right here as he goes for Blizzard. Um, I'd rather get some residual on this Nine Tails and then be able to go Rotom anyway. And now we Pain Split. Can I beat the Rotom? Can you really not beat the Rotom? You have five more Blizzards, dude. What you got at the end? Good luck on the road. Thank you, my man. You gotta keep clicking. If I was him though, I'd keep clicking Blizzard forever. I'd actually keep clicking Blizzard forever right here. But it looks like Trick ended up being in the right situation. Um, I wanted to do that so I can cripple Nine Tails. I didn't expect it to not Blizzard me though. But hey, hey, we ended up getting the W there. Not bad, not bad. How many points are we at now? I mean, I'll, I'll keep this game right here because I want to see how many points we're actually at now. Hey, okay, so Hariyama is elite versus Celebi. Uh, the one Celebi in the entire game that, you know, loses to this Hariyama. That's fine. They actually have a chance to be focused. That's just really cool. I have a Life Orb Spore Among Us. What is this? Hito for here. Okay, this is... Is this Monotype or is this actual game? Like, what, what what's happening right here? They never have the chance to be Guts. And I missed the Thunder Wave. But I can Life Orb stall them, which is funny. Um... If he Shear Force Ice Punch, moves 100%. If he Shear Force, it actually does a ton. So he is Shear Force, 100%. And Ice Punch. I have no switchings, guys. I actually have no switch. I really, really, really wish I hit that Thunder Wave because that give me a little bit more uh, leverage right here. In fact, I'm worried about this Ice Punch. Does that... It's Shear Force boosted, so it's about the same power. He shouldn't be able to knock me, but he doesn't take life for recall. Why is Ice Punch 100%? Give me some damage as he goes Zam. 
Really? Alright, Wormer Dam, you're actually trash, so I'm assuming you have HP Fire, so I'm gonna sack you here because I have no other switch into this. As he goes for Shadow Ball. Doesn't get a Spaduck drop, so we'll go for Specs Bug Buzz and see if that actually. If he doesn't have HP Fire, we'll go for Specs Bug Buzz and see how that ends up going. As he goes, Hariyama. He could Ice Punch here. Why would you not have Ice Punch before, though? I don't. I think he would have Ice Punched my Celebi if he would have stayed in. Why would you not have Ice Punch before, though? That doesn't make any sense. And he has a counter, too. 205. How fast is my Cartana? Not fast enough. Flamethrower is pretty easy. I'm gonna go Polytoad into Among Us. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm um, assuming Wild Charge is coming out right now. Volt Switch, uh, which means he gets to bring in Alakazam. Incredible. Incredible. Rotom's looking expendable, and he traces my regen, by the way. I want to I wanna let everybody know he traces my regen. Specs Leaf Storm and Prey. Go Hariyama. And he has a Trevenant. I can't break through his team. Like, I really don't see myself breaking through his team. If I can somehow get a Thunder Wave off on Alakazam, I think I can win. No. No. I refuse to believe I die at level 100. Or level 75. We're even leveled. Yeah. And he traced the overcoat from freaking Wormadam. This game a this game wrap. That's some garbage, man. Nah. Nah, nah. Hit the yellow color turn one. He had not attacked me four times in a row. Ah! I couldn't even do anything to that Pokemon. Like, I had... I had My mods that could take hits will die. Ooh. Miss Hypnosis. I, to be honest, dude, if this was a threat... I have a beautiful team, by the way. I have spikes as well. That's, that's fire. Nice. Alright, so I don't want you getting... Actually, no, I don't mind. I can Toxic the Yuxi. Um, it's okay if you get Yond or whatever. He goes for Stealth Rock. So what I can do is Encore him in Stealth Rock. And then go for Toxic again. Turn after that. Um, so that was really I, that was really bad, man. That, that Zam just like put me down. And that was also my fault for not remembering uh, what ability he traced. So Toxic again. I don't think you should go Persian because I can obviously Moonblast, which I've shown. Um, so I want to catch something... Essentially a fire type with toxic If possible don't reveal a steel. I'll be very very happy goes palisand, which is incredible Palisand also has toxic on its own and I can go Klefki and magnet rise As he doubles out to his fire type nice These are choice ban a hundred percent of the time That's a regular Ampharos not Fabio and that's mega Sharpedo. I do have roost though on this thing uh, do I want to toxic this? Not really. <laughs> Not with this mod, anyway. Oh, I have a broken swallow as well. This is beautiful. So, we got these mods on timers. This thing is choice man 100%. This boy, Stone Edges, you know what? He deserves the kill right now. But other than that, I can't switch into Flare Bits, so. Sacred Fire. I just realized I'm not Reshiram. I'm Kiram White. So, my fire resist was actually a Sharpedo. Mm -hmm. You know if he stays in as I waterfall First off he can easily go Persian right now I realized I wasn't rushing around guys as I was clicking it. okay. I, I need to start paying attention. I'm like I'm <laughs> Yep, burn me Ah Not bad, okay, I'm okay with that uh, as long as I can switch him once on Stealth Rock, we're good, which he can do easily. Um, he can extreme speed me. He goes Palisand. Because he knows that boy ability about to let it take this next hit. Which is dumb, by the way. I want to see if he actually has Shore Up. Because after two turns of Poison, I don't think he can take this. <sighs> he might actually get to take this.
fine. Entei took some big damage too. Goes Uxi. I get in the keys and start spiking up. It's not looking that good though. He has a he has a Persian. He has a Lolan Persian. I do have an agility Ampharos though. And the the fact that everything is getting weakened, especially that it's not agility, it's heal bow. I can't I can't toxic here in case he actually goes for U-turn. Which would really suck, but yeah, I legitimately can't. And we go down. Or get full powered rather. I do value toxic on this thing, but I feel like no, I'm gonna get up a spike. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Get in my air for us now. I, I would mega if it could, but we'll click Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt will knock him out. I'm assuming he's just gonna sack the uh, the palace in here. Now, I really thought that was Rush Ram. But either way, I couldn't switch it on Sacred Fire anyway. Yep, sucks Palace in. Not a big deal. I am faster, so we'll go for HP Ice and knock that bad boy out. Thing is, Entei can extreme speed me uh, towards the end, but if I get a little bit, if I get like. See, like if I got up the spike and then I was able to toxic Entei, I think I'd be okay here. Or if my Sharpedo had more than one switch in left. Like now I'm trying to play my Sharpedo really cautiously. Stomping Tantrum? There's no way that Oko's me. Why would you not go for Sacred Fire? I actually have to stay in. Like, I don't... There's no way Stomping Tantrum Oko's me. You have no reason not to go for Sacred Fire. Thankfully, I live that. So we get rid of the Entei, which is his Extreme Speed user. I break the potential Sash on Persian because of the Spike. Um, I will gladly take this. I will gladly, gladly take this. Uxie is obviously in range of my Sharpedo. He goes out to Persian. Just Thunderbolt. Then I'll spam Moonblast. And faster. Okay, cool. So this is an easy Moonblast. Ideally, he goes for Power Gem again or uh, tries to risk the Hypnosis and misses. That'd be fire if he risked that Hypnosis right now. All right, please get the same high roll. Please get the 24. Nice. Nice. Okay, Uxie's gone. Uxie's gone. Aurorus comes out. Honestly, I need this thing weakened for Shark. So I will definitely... And for Swallow. Stay in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I can't switch out anyway because I died a rock. So I'm gonna attempt to waterfall here. Ideally, I either knock him out or flinch him. Flinching would be great. Nope. Doesn't get the boost, unfortunately, for my opponent. <laughs> that was sarcastic. Uh, go swallow and protect. And then I guess we gotta try and crit through because I don't think. First off, I don't think this knocks out Aurorus. Maybe it does, and I'm wrong. Okay, Gut Swallow. Hold up, take us home. Take us home, bro. Take us home. I don't knock out Persian. I know I don't think you are, but attempt to. I think we needed more spikes. Is this scarf? Never. Dude, in real situations, this would never live this. In a real situation, this would never live this. Yes. In a fake situation either. Good. Good, good, good. Technician, please be technician. Please. Please be technician. Oh, I was a technician. Garbage ente. <sighs> no. No. It was a technician, boys. It was not a technician. This is such a fire lead to get. And I have sub Mega Sharpedo. Mega Sharpedo. That's a subtile. I had Mega Sharpedo in the last game. I don't care about Wormadam. I will get on my rocks. The last one failed me. Maybe this one will actually help me. You know I'm just going to get Air Slash to death. Uh, it doesn't kill me. Um, Air Slash would never kill me, which is why I'm willing to do this right now. I do have an Arcanine, yes. But I really want rocks up. And there's very little opportunities where I feel this Pokemon will get up rocks. 
So we try to do some damage right now. <laughs> you know, it takes some burn. He knows I only have Earthquake as my attack. What a cheater. I don't even have priority for you. <laughs> Alright, thank you for brave birding me. I appreciate that. That damage on you is very, very, very nice. Um, close combat will knock you out for sure. I don't want to take recoil, so close combat should be able to knock you out with burn. Any U-turns, great. So that should be in range of the um, that's a 15, 60, 180. Expect this to be three times. I don't mind you defogging, sir or ma'am. Give me my the Dane, didn't they? Okay, so uh, Flare Bits there obviously would have been better because I would have been able to 2k or Rotom. But I'm assuming he's going to go for... Okay, I was about to say, bro, like you really legitimately suck as a Pokemon if that was going to be able to break your sub. And he actually valued Stealth Rocking over, over beating me down. So I don't mind Donphan going down. So I'm about to come out and... and and knock something out. HP has to knock you out. I mean, that's gonna knock me out, like I said. But like, someone's gonna come out and knock something out, right? But I get to go Sceptile. <sighs> I don't want to click Outrage. I want to click Sub so badly. But either way, I end up clicking Outrage, right? Let me Sub first, though. If he doesn't have Air Slash. He cannot touch me. So we're going to Leaf Blade right here first. As he goes x -Bop. I can really use a crit right now. He doesn't have an attack to touch me. That's great. Getting Grump Pig. Psychic. Just for damage. Just for Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade that bad boy. Knock him out. Okay. Come on, Mega Septa. I believe in you, buddy. Go Rotom. Go Rotom right now, bro. Are you actually serious right now? Supersonic Sky Strike. I have no choice. Will O Wisp is a 50% chance to have. I dodged two. I dodged two. I, I, I you guys ha did you guys notice by the way that I said I dodged two before I dodged two? I felt it. I felt it in my spirit. Ooh, I felt it in my spirit. I'm not gonna be faster anyway. I might as well go for crunch. Goodbye, world. He literally wins the game with Talonflame. Like, by clicking Brave Bird. So even if I outplay, even if I manage to outplay his his sucker punches by clicking sub eight times. I dodged two, though, to be fair. All right, uh, we have a Choice Specs lead. Uh, this doesn't have Recover. This has Bullet Seed, so I'm going to go out into Heracross. Man, we are not taking... I'm not doing any type of damage. It's rank. Mm, it's not... This is not going that well, guys. We're 1966 again. Thankfully, he decides to go out to Stunfisk, uh, which is something I obviously hit super effective damage. And Bullet Seed cannot miss, and it doesn't make contact. So I'm not gonna, I don't have risk a chance of getting paired or whatnot. We're probably gonna end up in the 2000s, and this is why I'm gonna end up doing a stream video, or exclusive stream video. And the reason I'm not like uploading is because people are like, oh man, we can't really see the chat. And even if I had the chat, I was like, well, I don't really like you reacting to people. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll just stream them, and then I'll do these uploaded ones in between. Um, good for my switch and like. Love when my Zen had but switching is a Raichu. I'm literally clicking Thunderbolt here. Like, I don't care if you went Donphan. I go right back on the Heracross. Apparently, Heatmore's pretty broken on this because of its coverage.
I really didn't want to risk the um, the pair on me, but I will gladly take a bullet seed KO right now. What do you expect? Focus Blaster? Or... That did 35 <laughs> specs. I feel like random battles, even though the levels are supposed to make them quote unquote fair, it would be it would, it would be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot easier if they were level 100. I just knew everything off the top of my head. Go ahead and give me that Porygon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So big old Medicham gonna come out. I'm hoping what this comes down to is heat more. I go Quag. Once I jump kick like a miss, it goes for Ice Punch. I take that. Nice. I jump kick should blow me out of the water. He has a 50% chance to have that though. That's 50-50, bro. All right, well, side shock here. Break Dawn fans 30. Beautiful. I feel like he's going to double, but at this point, like... He showed his entire set. One ninety four. I literally lose to this thing. Um, if he gets the damage off on my, uh, if he knocks on my Raichu, so I have to be super smart about Raichu. And what I'm gonna do here is sucker punch just for damage on you. I want to surf so badly. I'm doing it. I'm tired of this Don fan coming in and stopping me from spamming Thunderbolt. All right, we got rid of two ground types, man. Two ground types. I got rid of two ground types. Of course, Kartana comes in. But Heracross eats every hit. Their life orb. I, I still don't think you knocked me out, dude. I don't think plus two life orb Smart Strike knocks me out. Lucky roll. Level 83. 83. 84. This Kartana is probably bulkier than most Kartanas, to be honest, because of the fact that it actually has Spadef and HP investment. Five. I'll tell you right now, I don't think a regular Heracross would have dropped that. But somebody's gonna drop a calc and be like, yo, what is it? I'm like, oh, okay, you got me, my bad, bro. 64 to 76%. I had to focus less. That's Assault Vest Hoopa. You go for a dark move here. I think 100% of the time. Yes, and this is choice ban. The sock is choice ban. It might come down to a 50-50, I think, at the end with a double into sock on Kartana. If he saves Hoopa, of course. Hey, okay, gives me Hoopa. Okay, so Thunderbolt has some potential right now. We'll go Needle King to force two, uh, two Life Orb hits. Yep, I gotta go Needle King to force two Life Orb hits. What was the calc? 64 So the play is either Thunderbolt and get the roll. And I have to do this because basically he has fake out. I should calc fake out on Raichu. I'll be right back, one sec. Okay, so here's my thought process. Because, because Metacham doesn't knock me out with fake out, I'm going to sack Sock here. Assuming he's going to stay in. He went Metachamp. Um, basically, because he didn't knock me out with Fake Out, 
I thought this was the play anyway because if it was gonna come, if he doubled there, it still come down to a roll, right? It still comes down to, down to the thunderbolt roll. But by going sock, I pretty much uh, get rid of the chance of a roll. Knocks me out. I go Raichu. I click Specs Thunderbolt. Yeah, because Metachan doesn't knock me out with Fake out here. So it still comes down. Well, obviously if he switched, it still comes down to this roll. It's in my favor. Let's go! Ah, Lola Raichu coming through! Woo! That is what I like to see. Good game, dude. That is what I like to see. Okay, I'm so happy we got that roll. I really am so happy. I think we're going to end it there. Um, I don't think we got too many points this live, unfortunately. In fact, I think we broke even. If not, just barely that. Uh, but I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Let me, uh, let me see right now where we are. Sorry I got interrupted twice, but, you know, things are going on. It says 1984. I don't know if that's the actual one I'm at right now. But, like I said, I'll probably have a stream episode in between and then come back after. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.